Howdy, dorks. It's time for Wardor Fortress. Hooray! <laughs> that's that's all I got. Uh, we're we're playing Door Fortress. Um, I was I just had it open just a second ago, or it's still open. Uh, but I was just checking things out and figuring some things out. Um, mostly, I was getting military uniforms set up, um, and I went ahead and just made it made a whole second squad even. Um, so, so our militia is going to start training and stuff, and we're going to see if we can tame the wild a little bit. Um, We've been getting quite a lot of stoat action. Um, in fact, I was just... Uh, here, I can do... do, do. There. Um, I was just... I was just checking out, and I noticed that we got a little... a little friend just hiding here. Uh, just... just, uh, just going right into our little trade depot there, so... Might start off with some excitement right here. Um, but I was just doing a quick glance over everything. We're milking animals, that's cool. Um, and all this too, okay. Let's, I'm actually gonna uh, do, do, let's, we won't replant things here. That's fine, we'll, we'll turn this into our, our outdoor crops farm. And this will be indoor crop stuff. But anyway, um, I was just, I was just looking, looking at our stuff. Uh, what was I? Yeah, well, squad, first of all. Um, I made a second squad. They both have five people in them right now. First squad is unchanged. Um, and then just made another five person squad and then assigned them here. And now they're, they're all trained to, or set to train in here. Um, and I remade the uniform for the the first the first squad too uh so the main difference they're all going to be like none of them will have their stuff on so i can't really show you their stuff uh but i can show you what their uniform looks like um so squad number one is going to be our mark dwarf squad and then squad number two is going to be a melee dwarf squad i think that's the most reasonable way to to split it up i think because there's going to be instances where we want Mark dwarves to be behind fortifications and melee people to be running up in other places. So keeping them separate will make the the order like giving them orders more reasonable, as opposed to having some Mark dwarves and some melee dwarves in each squad. Um, and this is different from how we were doing it in the last fortress. The last fortress, I just told everyone to grab a crossbow and a melee weapon, and I said have at it, and that mostly worked. We did run into some issues later in the, the life of the fortress where there were some very scary things that we weren't quite equipped to deal with because I didn't uh, I didn't get too specific with their equipment. Um, like we should have like problems could have been solved with some maces but no one had some maces. So now we're now I'm gonna be more specific about how we deal with our our squad equipment. So this is my solution. Um, currently, this is all set to be, or, or most of it set to just be metal in general. Um, and then they can take partial matches. So they're gonna take metal stuff when appropriate and they should be getting the better stuff that they can. Um, Cause like we have some copper armor just laying around from dead merchants and stuff. <laughs> so hopefully those will be grabbed. And then as we make steel stuff, they'll get kind of replaced as we as we go. Is the idea. Hello! Welcome! Um, I was just reviewing my new fancy militia militia, uh, militia equipment. Um, so we have one squad. And also, these were completely randomly generated. The first one's the tin blots, and the second one is the tin machines. I did not uh, I did not tell that to happen. Squatting up the lads, yeah, totally. Um, but of significance, squad number one is uh, crossbows, and then squad number two is going to be melee stuff. Um, so it's the same base outfit, leather and, and metal stuff, uh, just generally speaking. Uh, but and then we have, um, they all have shields, 
And then we have two people assigned to get battle axes. We have two people assigned to get war hammers. Yeah. And one person assigned to get a spear. And I think that will give us some decent coverage between the different damage types. And yeah, <laughs> hopefully give us some more versatility in the stuff that we that we deal with. Um, I was just I was reading over the Wikipedia just just now. Um, generally speaking, this is kind of just a, a rule of thumb, I guess. You can't get too specific with combat in this game because it's deep. Um, like it's not weapons don't really have stats like an attack stat. Um, and then like attacking health kind of a situation. It's more like uh, a hammer does good against plate and then you can like damage lungs <laughs> underneath. Um, all that to say, general rule of thumb, axes are good against people who aren't wearing armor and blunt weapons uh, like war hammers are good against things that are wearing hammer. Again, broad rule of thumb um, but hopefully what this means is all of the stoats and owls <laughs> agitated great horn owl uh, will be uh, taken care of by axes and bladed stuff and then war hammers will deal with uh, the goblins when they start showing up I'm they should be showing up any day now probably um, and then the humans, when we piss them off too bad, <laughs> they'll be wearing armor too. Um, not to mention, like, uh, uh, Mega Beasts and stuff, like, uh, like a Bronze Colossus. Um, I think, what do you want? Mostly you just want to be able to have weapons that are better metal than, than bronze, but, um, like, Forgotten Beasts made of, like, salt or something. I think you want, like, bashing, um, for those kinds of a situation. Anyway, um, that's the main thing that I've done. I also did some research on mechanisms and pressure plates and stuff, and we're going to make an attempt at something with our waterfall situation. Um, but yeah, in the immediate sense, I want to make sure nothing happens with this particular owl. Because it's because there's dwarves down here. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, no. Red. Okay, good. Are you injured? You are seriously injured. Okay. Did you... Did the dwarf get injured? Or did you just get away scot-free? Wow. Okay, well, you... Ability to stand lost. Well, you're... You're still... You're still getting places, <laughs> I guess. Uh, hopefully this thing just... Bleeds out. No. Shit, seriously injured. It's conscious again. Now, now what? Slowly flying out. I can't stand. I wonder if that means I can't fly. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so slow now. Don't go back in. Out. Out! I should probably put a gate on this top part too, just so that things can... Just so I can lock that ramp, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I can fly. Okay. Be free. Whatever. Uh, so that's all good. Bunch of people got interrupted. That's all fine. Oh, and the other thing I did was... Um, like, we do have some armor, uh, like breastplates and, and some mail shirts, just various things. We've made a bunch of leather stuff, but we have a handful of armor, of metal stuff as well. Um, but we do want to be making more stuff. Um, like, here we have a bunch of lar like large iron helms. The dwarves won't be able to wear that. Um, we have a single steel helm. That's cool. There's a bunch of leather stuff. Um, but I put on a single forge steel helm job, and now that it occurs to me that we should size these for cougarmen, as is tradition. Um, 
and since it's the first time I'm doing that in this fortress, the uh, the main thing is that dwarves and humans are different size, and they are just barely different size enough that they can't wear each other's things. Um, like a, a breastplate made for humans will be too big for a dwarf to wear. But cougar people and hyena people, I believe, happen to be just the right size. They're they're plumb right between the size of a dwarf and the size of a human, so that uh, when when armor or clothing is made for a cougar person, then it can be worn by dwarves and humans either. So that that reduces some logistics. If all your stuff is made that size, then everyone can wear it and everything's good. Um, we cannot trade with with cougar people. Um, as far as I know, cougar people don't have like a civilization. All the animal people don't have civilizations in the same way dwarves and humans do. Um, you'll see cougar people. We had a, a cougar person treasure hunter running around at some point, um, but I don't think anymore. Oh, we want to smooth this, don't we? Let's go something like this. Is why not? Probably a more gates. Well, there's, there's gonna be gates. Everywhere's gonna be gates. Um, our machinery is going. That's cool. Uh, we are still waiting for this to be connected. Oh, it's actually being worked on right now. Oh, perfect. Now, now we don't have enough power. Hooray! Oh, stone carver dead. Did the, the eagle finish you off? Cause that was you, right? Pretty sure. Uh, is bear? Where's bear? Bear. Great horned owl grabs a stone cover by the thumb. Ow. Okay. Uh, stone cover latches on firmly. Good. I must withdraw, yeah, and then... What, it just comes back? I must withdraw, I must withdraw. Agitated giant great horned owl grabs by the lower leg. Ow. Okay, uh, yeah, revenge of the owl person, I guess. Oh, man. Oops, sorry. Yeah, we need to get we need to get our surface defenses into the to the point where yeah, here's a dingo person in a cage. And a lynx man, that's a wild animal. And so sometimes they will be sometimes they will be wild animals and sometimes they will be adventurers. Sometimes they'll be people, but they still won't belong to a civilization. Um like this is just an animal person. This is a wild, a wild creature in the shape of a person, basically. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the is that owl still here? Seems like it's gone. We still have way too much cage stuff. We'll be dealing with a bunch of our cage stuff today. Um, I did notice. I'm curious what this. Lynx man is gonna do. Jeweler is fighting. Where did this all happen? Agitate. Yeah, okay. Huh. Should be tribal with barter. I know. I kind of wish that the animal people had, like, a primitive civilization. That we could, like, parlay with or, or trade with. Like, even if they didn't have... You know, mountain homes and cities are the equivalent. If they just had little, little tribal bit, tribal bits. I think that is within the technical capacity of this game. Uh, it just hasn't been, hasn't been done. I wonder if you could workshop mod that in. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like when we were dealing with all the fish people in the previous fortress, like. There were so many of them. Like, there's a civilization's worth of animal people in the world, as we clearly saw, fighting 200 fish people at the at a time. As many fish people as we had in our fortress. As we had people in our fortress. 
So if we could come up with like a a pact of some kind, I, I, I would pay them tribute so that they didn't attack us kind of a situation. That'd be cool. Um, or if we just like straight up pissed them off to the point where they threw all of themselves at us and then they gave up because we were too powerful. Like that'd be cool too. More than one tribe of fish people or bit or a bit tribe of fish people that takes over the fortress. Yeah, totally. Oh man, yeah, reclaiming a fallen fortress that fell to uh, a tribe of animal people? That'd be dope. I do wonder if that's workshopable. Okay. Um, and then other things. Oh yeah, I assigned some, uh, whatchamacallit, some mining tunnels. Mostly because uh, these are granite layers. And here, Cassiterite. I want to make bronze, because bronze is good. And we have a whole bunch of tetrahedrite, and tetrahedrite is good for copper. But bronze is better than copper, but you need tin. And the only way you get tin is from cassiterite. And cassiterite apparently is found in granite layers. So I told them to start digging some tunnels in, in some granite that I saw down here. And yet, oh, native silver, hardened silver, perfect. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna auto, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna auto mine this cassette or cast iterite. What's this? There's more tetrahedrite. Oh, someone else, a human bowman has been struck down. What is happening? I just cleared out all this combat stuff. The tantrum, isn't it? Gone berserk. Why? <laughs> I, uh, interrupted by a human bowman. Was this the one that had all the legendary stuff? Yeah, I see like three, four named things here. A named spear, named shield. Look at all this. Are you sure we didn't murder this person just to loot the body? Because... Bulky, slick, metal left glove. You're wearing, like, stuff that we found in the depths of the previous fortress? And artifact scepters? Very strange. This is a mystery. <laughs> why why do you have all this fancy stuff and why did you go berserk? Uh Saffet. Where where are you? Right here. Attacks the carpenter. Human bowman attacks the stone cutter. Stone cutter kicks the bowman. Well at least they didn't um and then immediately just drops all this stuff. <laughs> Kicks the bowman in the arm and breaks the bone. And then the bowman goes, oh, my artifacts. And I'll go across the ground. And then everyone piles on. Human misses. It didn't. Huh. The human didn't really get a, a good hit off, does it? Did he? Huh. Nope. Misses. Misses. Wow. Uh, they all just kind of piled on, didn't they? Doctor gains possession of the cowbone amulet. Okay, why? And then they... Doctor punches the bowman in the head. Okay. Uh, don't piss off that doctor, I guess. So a human treasure hunter just went berserk and tried to punch a person and then the fortress kind of piled on and put down the human. Kind of strange. Okay. Uh, did he get... Who's this? 
What do you what do you need? Right lung lung tissue, huh? Need sutures and stuff. Okay. Hopefully the doctor didn't get rocked too hard. <laughs> Are you still all fighting? Stoat women. No, this is all Nothing has happened here. What is happening? These are like old. This is what happened last stream. Unless... Unless there's more stuff going on. Are you still dumping stoats? Don't think so. What the heck? I'm going to lock this door because it don't need to be open. That's the point of it. But now that we have that locked, we can drop things down here, not worry about them running around. That'll be cool. Needs empty cage. Oh, that's right. Of course. So we're needing wood uh, for lots of things. I did designate some uh, some more stuff to dig down here, just for well, control our defenses here. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to dig this out, and then these are going to be fortifications so that our Marks Dwarves can camp out in here and fire anything trying to make their way around here. And then this is going to be turned into a pit, basically. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to channel all this out and then cover it over with a big drawbridge. And then we can put some drawbridges on the side too. Uh, but if there's anything big in here that we can't kill, like a Forgotten Beast shows up, um, we can just kind of lure it into here, trap it in here, hope, fingers crossed, hopefully, and then drop the, drop the thing. And then it'll end up down here in a little pit. And then we'll put some fortifications around here so we can, you know, continue to fire on it if we decide to. Or um, I'll probably even put another gate down here. And then this will be like forgotten beast storage if it needs to be. Um, and then from there we can do more stuff with them if we need to. Um, that's my thought for that area. I'm hoping they can come and dig that sooner rather than later. These all have cages in the Middle East. Oh, look! Elk birds! Hooray! Maybe I'll go ahead and tell them to channel out here. I'm actually gonna do, like, that. Yeah. We'll remove that, and then... Yeah. Uh, that'll give them some stuff to dig. What else were we doing? We were doing a lot of stuff here. This is... This is getting there. We're almost done with our... Our roads. Oh, look. Here's a... A lynx man. Just wandering around. Can you climb? Is that what happened? Yeah. Huh. So, yeah. That's a thing. Oh, and the little star thing. I wish... Here, you want some stars? Stars. Anyway. Uh, we have windmills going, but we're actually going to need more. You can see that we... We have 160 power, we need 216 now that we've connected to our millstones. So I think I'm just going to make another column of three here. Which means... Uh, let's do it like this. We'll, make, we'll put some stairs here instead. Right, we'll do that. And then this can be... So do we have jet blocks? I used all of my jet blocks. No, almost. Uh, I need four and I have four. Okay, cool. 
Um, we'll do that, and I'm actually going to remove these other ones. And then we'll get more jet. I, we have a quarry somewhere. Got a bunch of marble. That's good. Here's my jet. Jeez, a lot of gypsum. Okay, we have jet. We have jet. We just need to, just need to use the jet, because there is a job in here for it. Jet blocks, and it's active. Okay, so that'll that'll happen. Bees, cool. Probably need. Ghostly spinner. Okay, uh, there's a ghost. This one's ready to be split. Okay. So yeah, it requires a jug. Destroys a colony. Okay. I type more, but Frank has taken my keyboard for his own. <laughs> they do that. And no worries. I'm I'm here to I'm here to play Dwarf Fortress, and I'm gonna keep playing Dwarf Fortress when people are talking or not. Um, mostly a matter of remembering where our priorities are. Because uh, our stone crafters... I don't know why not all of these are ending up with jobs. Oh, we should probably have a sheriff or something. We probably have crimes. Yeah, there's crimes. Um, and in theory, we have smelting stuff going. Slowly. Jeez. We have all of our giant stoat hair thread. Perfect. our jet and there's our stupid stone pile. I'm really curious why these these workshops get kind of lopsided. All the jobs are assigned to one and not the others, but apparently these are active. Oh no, that's just saying it's a came from a work order. Hmm. Well, how about we do that? Do do the jet blocks, please. Um, but otherwise, you all you all need some work to do. Clearly, like all this stone stuff. Like, look, we we need people to be carving stone things. It'd be cool if you actually did it. Oh, and soap. Do we have materials for soap? milk. Giant stoat tallow. How about some stoat soap? <laughs> uh, yeah, we have, we have some tallow. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep a hold of the stoat soap. Jeez, just piles of giant stoat kidney. Perfect. Um, and then to make soap, you need to make some lye. No? Oh, that's right, we have a ghost. Let's deal with the ghost. You are a Zuthan. No? Yeah. Okay. Do that, please. Hey, look, a pig. Bye, pig. So how does... I need to remember how... Cancels make lie needs ash. So you need ash to make lie, and then lie to make soap. 
Yeah. So let's go here. And I'm gonna add ash. We're so we're already so screwed on wood. This is kind of whatever. I'll say make five ash. Check daily. And then, yeah. Let's do that. Of course, this won't activate until we chop some freaking logs. Uh, but once we have ash, then we can make lye. And... Robert buckets. Um, sure, whatever. We're gonna have to make some buckets. Um, but I won't tie that to an order. I'm just gonna make some... Let's make some buckets with this. Of course... Can't make wooden buckets! I make copper buckets. Forge copper bucket. Let's make <laughs> ten copper buckets. That'll keep us. I'll keep us good. And then soap from tallow. Uh, same thing. We'll make five at a time. Amount of bars. No, this needs to be like. Soap. Oh, and since we we know it's gonna be a giant stoat. Giant stoat fat? Is that how that works? <laughs> giant stoat pus. <laughs> uh Cause this is the this is the output. This is the bars. Can I just do soap here? No. Soap items. Soap bars. Soap bars less than ten. Satisfied. Okay, cool. So that's how you do that. Um, not all of these defaults are perfectly set up. They have gotten better over time, but there are still some, a couple stragglers. Um, and then lie containing items is going to be those buckets. Um, so we'll need five of those. And then tallow, which we're going to have a whole bunch of. There's a whole stack of that. So there. Um, that's going to be waiting on wood for ash, but once that's taken care of, we'll have soap going. That'll be good. Mechanisms, brew drink from plants, lavish meals, perfect. Perfect. Um, oh, and honey. We should get honey to work. I just saw the ghost. <laughs> oh, why is... The cow is fighting. No, don't fight in here. Dang it. Log up the hole. Uh, rock salt. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what, who are you? Herbalist with an axe. Thank goodness. Copper battle axe. Is the cow okay? So long as the llamas are fine. I am fine. The llamas seem fine. I <laughs> want a donkey end up way over here. No llama drama. <laughs> I, w I would like a lack of llama drama. These, these llamas are precious. They're going to be what saves me from having to deal with pigtail cloth. Not that we really need it, we accidentally robbed a couple of caravans, so now we just have a pile of cloth sitting around. Um, 
But, okay, B uh, bars, or bees, farms, and such. Because this herbalist is just going to slaughter some owl people. Look at them. There's a whole bunch. You, expedition leader, is less equipped to deal with owl harassment. Can we just... Here, you all come up to the surface. Because there's... There's nothing in here now. But just the one hole. I only see the one hole. My football manager game, my best player is retiring and I can't talk him out of it. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, please! Think of the stream, dang it! It's only 35? Yeah. I mean... I'm 36, and my spine would not like me playing soccer. I tell you that much. I legit tried. It was like, I'm flattered, but no. <laughs> oh, they are our expedition leader. But look! Hammerdorf. You're already here. And what are you wearing? You have a crossbow and a steel helm. And leather armor. And good stuff, except for the lack of... Lack of bolts, but we're we're working on that. If you can just did that, oh, it just went in. Did ooh, okay. Well, okay, cool. So that got that one got caught. That's good. Um, I should put some doors here too, shouldn't I? Just so something doesn't. No one needs doors. I have, I have so much need for doors. Are you all going up? Where's my dead dwarf? Potter. Aw, oh, dang. Oh, was that the expedition leader? That was our expedition leader. Now we just don't have an expedition leader. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Killed by agitated great horned owl woman. Uh, to be fair, he has the injure prone trait, but surely all 35 years old do. Yeah, no, she. Uh, I'm injury prone. Turn my head too quick to one side and sprain my neck. Ugh. Okay, so at least the ones that go down are gonna get caught. Thank goodness that these actually have cages in them. And then our our actual militia. You see, you're going to... I don't know where you're going. You should have gotten a station order. Uh, but you have a bronze warhammer. You have a copper battle axe. You have a bronze warhammer. That's, that's good. That's more than we had previously. Here they are. Yeah. Kill the owls. Stukos. Stukos squeezing channel has assumed the position of expedition leader. Okay. So yeah, we lost our expedition leader, but they replaced themselves. It's fine. Um, did we did we get everyone? There's fewer owls than there were. Yeah, we have a guest and we have a ghost and a bunch of elk birds and an agitated Sasquatch. Uh-oh, are those dangerous? <laughs> I haven't fought a Sasquatch. We have a Sasquatch in a cage somewhere, but we didn't fight. Didn't fight it. Um, but then we've we've dealt with all of our our owls who aren't in cages. Oh, night one got oh a lynx man got caught there. Okay, so then you should all go kill the Sasquatch because that's probably gonna go rip a dwarf apart. Okay. 
terrified while in conflict. Oh, he just climbed over the walls. Okay, and there he goes. Running from the cat. <laughs> the cat. Wow, that's... uh. This is someone's pet, so hopefully you, the, you don't get squished. Bleeding, nauseous, overexerted, unconscious. Yeah, no, slapstick, no kidding. Uh, where's where's this cat? Or Sasquatch, here we go. Wood, woodcrafter punches the Sasquatch. The cat scratches the Sasquatch. Cat bites in the leg. Cat bites in the lower body. <laughs> Go cat. Wow. Agitated Sasquatch collapses and falls to the ground from overexertion. Cat bites the agitated Sasquatch in the arm. Cat latches on firmly. The Sasquatch vomits. The Sasquatch retches. And then misses the cat. Cat scratches the agitated Sasquatch in the head, tearing the skin and bruising the muscle. The agitated Sasquatch has been knocked unconscious. Okay. Uh, if our squad can get over here... Or maybe the cat can just take care of it. <laughs> oh, there goes the cat. Here comes the squad. Oak. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Dwarf. See? Having actual weapons. The recruit. Jeez. Promote the cat? Absolutely. Where... Where'd he go? I was just running around here. Did I already run back inside? I don't see it now. We only have a handful of cats. Uh, we have stray cats. We have... Endoc? Is that the only named cat we have? It must have been... It must have been this one. Yeah, here he is. A cat capped <laughs> uh here yeah cat captain uh sass scratcher <laughs> cool good job cat Go eat some tuna. Okay, and then the surface is safe. We're we're constructing this. Sassy for short. Yeah, I had a coworker who had a dog named um, full name was Sassafras, but called him Sassy. I think I think we're all sealed up here again. Okay, so, arms, <laughs> jeez, there's just, just always something happening, isn't there? Like, I even say that, jeweler is fighting. Agitated owl, you're, you're still just running away from things. So I don't think there's more owls. Frank's full name is Frankenmoo, that's amazing. I like, I like long full names that are nonsense that shorten into normal sounding names. I think that's a good, that's a good one. Uh, okay, so we, we're good on, on creatures for the moment. Uh, let's make sure that our, are you wearing nothing but a helmet? We're wearing a helmet and pants. Nothing else. There's some shoes, though. Um, oh, so we can remove here. 
that's all set. And then more floor. Uh, we're gonna, yeah. So something like that. Gonna need nine. We have a whole one jet block. Okay, got it. Someone needs to work on those. Let's make a farm. I'm gonna go like that. And then this might just be one big plot. Maybe like a big plot and then a small plot. Because the, the main thing that I want to do here is whip vine. Because whip vine is a worthwhile crop. There's also, there's other things we could do. There's like full on blueberries and such. They're screaming outside. I'm assuming it's the happy kind. Is this needs mud or soil? So yeah, we can't build on these tiles. Murky pool? You lie. Silt. Why wait for the rest of it to grow in? Hmm. Maybe it will... Maybe it will eventually be fine. Um... Won't be perfect, but that's fine. We're just gonna do this. And then... That. And then we'll have two plots there. And then... I'm tempted to make a second... Seed situation, because currently all of our seeds are coming over here. Can we... I could make an easier path to our food area from our farm area. That might not be a bad idea. Except I don't want to I don't want to connect things so that they end up using like this stairwell as opposed to the the main stairwell. But I think we can get away. Hmm. And I could just straight up remove this way from getting there. Currently, they get to the farms by going up from here. So then we would just have it be up from the kitchen, which is where all the stuff goes anyway, because currently they have to come down to here and then they go down to the kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna reconfigure our access here. If we can go like here, for instance, and we could wall in there. Uh, let's not dig through there. We can come over here. Here. Kind of. I mean, we can. We can have it go a couple different ways. Um, but then from here, we'd be fine. We'll, we'll wall in this kind of like we did down here. Because that's all fine. And then we just go like this. Nope. Aw. Like that. And then they would come up to here and then go up one. So we just want to come out here. Yep. 
Yeah, and then we'll we construct upstairs. Which we have to wait <laughs> to do until that's dug. Crusader Kings? I have played Crusader Kings. Um, I don't own it. I had it on Game Pass for a short period, and then I let Game Pass expire. Um, but, yes. I have I have played some. I have not gotten very deep into it, because it's... That's a whole thing. It's as deep as this game. Um, and then we'll have... Something like this. No. Nope. Nope. Buttons. Be rock salt blocks. And yeah. Wait to close that off until everything's in there. Um, but yeah, then they'll they'll dig up here, and then we'll have. I'm actually thinking I want to have. Um... I mean, our seed stockpile can go here. And then we don't have to worry about the surface opening up. The fewer the fewer locations where those like surface trees can turn into holes in the ground that go into our fortress, minimizing those is a good idea. Um, but we'll do that. We'll have we'll have a way down here. There's our seed stockpile for we'll we'll have that be both probably. And then this goes down, and then down, and around. That's the farm stuff. And that'll give them access to the pen, and the bees, and both the farm types. And then here's all the eggs. So yeah, it'll. I think that's. I think that's good. Uh, I stopped playing after I created a really cool kingdom, and it started falling to pieces. That's my experience with that game. Um, I did. We were doing like a multiplayer game for a little while. And, you know, you, you're controlling your person, and things are looking good, you're expanding your, your empire, and you're, you got your kids, and everything's looking good, and then you die, and your kingdom splits into five, and you're controlling one bit of it, and now all the things that were nice about the thing that you had are nice things that your enemies have, or enemies, your, your siblings, but they're not always so nice. And you just want it back. And and yeah. Uh, oh, hi, cat. And I'm sure that, and that's the point of it, right? That's the whole thing. But uh, I I didn't quite get fully into it. It is really good, though. I, I do enjoy it. And I, there's an expansion coming out, too. Or has come out. Um... Then and this is just this is just the stockpile. Yeah. I'm debating if I want to split our stockpile into a um, finished goods and not finished finished goods kind of a situation. It's so like having our, our drink and meals down here and like raw crops and stuff up here. But I don't know that that's even strictly necessary. Um, oh, one thing that did occur to me off stream like three streams ago is we need mugs make rock mug but we need more jobs for our stone crafters do you want over here um and this is just gonna be a one-time order for like 25 mugs And then we should put some uh, boxes, some some chests in the dining hall. Chest. Uh, what do we got? We got two marble coffers. Let's do that. Cool. Excuse you. Uh, so that sort of happened, but then one of my family became this super bitching queen and took over. I just backed her up, and uh, but after I took the reins again, we declined. And I think that English will destroy me soon. They'll do that. 
Uh, mostly because I created a new religion worshipping Celtic gods with equal rights and free love. Sweet. Which, to be fair, matched our history, but yeah, everyone hates me. Fluff goes up, yes. I'm making all sorts of croaky sounds, too. I don't think it picked up on the... the thing. Don't eat the microphone. Um, but honey, that's the... that's... that's where my brain is at. Um, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna open the wiki. I'm gonna go... Uh, honey... Honey is a product pressed from honeycomb. Honey can be made into mead at a still, or used in cooking prepared meals. Honeycombs are produced by honeybees at a hive. Okay, so we, we harvest the hive and we get a honeycomb, and then we need to press the honeycomb to get honey, and then make the honey into mead. Um, honey is the only animal product that can be brewed. Oh, that's cool. Honey has a low value of one and is brewed into five mead with a value of one each. Well, that's neat. Uh, but that means screw press is the thing that presses honey from honeycomb. So let's go press honey from honeycomb. And I'm going to do this kind of like I do the the shearing jobs. Um, we're going to just check daily for one. Um, and if there is a honeycomb to press, we will press it. Do you need to be pressed? Um, Non-pressed honey-bearing honeycombs. One. And we have a couple already. Cool. And then liquid container, one. I know we have some jugs. Um, and then I don't care about the outputs, the globs or the liquid, because it's going to give us some, uh, it's going to give us some honey, which goes into a jug, but it's also going to give us some wax. And then the wax can be used for crafts and stuff. I believe. Um, so then we'll have honey, and then I also want to make mead. And we'll do that in, I guess, all of, is all of our food stuff being done in fives. Yeah, we're doing everything in fives. We'll just keep that going. Hi, you're in the way. No, not that. Five. Let's also check daily. I don't care about how many drinks we have. I care about containers, obviously, and honey containing items. Yeah. So what this will do is every time we have 10 or more jars of honey, we will turn some of it to mead. So, but if we have less than that, then we will have honey available and the honey can be used for cooking. So that, I think that'll, basically I'm gonna have honey for cooking and then excess of what we use for cooking will be used for brewing into mead. And then mead could even be used to make into cooking. It all goes around. Um, yeah, in theory, that's that's all we need to do there. Um, I am hoping that someone can figure out the jet blocks. Like they're just now now all the rock coffer showed up everywhere. Hmm, interesting. Maybe what's happening is a job will show up in all of them at once, and then it's like. This is where it's not been completed. Why are you... Why is the jet one not working? Forge copper bucket. Perfect. 
Stumbling obliviously. Of course, we really need to get our um, waterfalls going, don't we? How are we on trees? Are you wolf woman? Multiple wolf people. Militia captain. Hall wolf man left hand. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Um. You're healthy. Okay. Oh, look at all the... <laughs> you can see the snow landing on the dwarf as he walks through a snowstorm. This game is ridiculous. Well, who are you? Human maceman. Visitors ready to leave. Yeah, we still haven't managed to finish our bedrooms for our long stay, folks. I think that mostly comes down to not having wood. Um, we'll wait for that. Oh, yes, this. So we can keep dropping, we can keep dropping stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, and I was going to carve some fortifications here so we can just shoot at them through here if we want to. Um, but now that I can actually place the door here and lock it, then I can just throw things down here without too much worry. Hey, we made our buckets. That's good. Uh, press honey from honeycomb has happened. So that that worked. Um, that means we can now find honey in the kitchen. And it... I guess what's going to fall under? Other. Honey bee royal jelly and honey bee honey. Okay. Not relevant to brewing, what do you mean? Weird. Um but yeah, so now we have we have honey going, we have so many eggs. Look at all these eggs! Wow, and the milk? We have a cheese job somewhere. We have so much food, we should be trading food. Yeah, make cheese. Use any shop. Okay. Um, one thing I want to do is we can put like a weapon trap on the spot where where stoats land. Um, but I might I might hold off for the moment. Let's just go ahead and let's just tell them to start tossing some more some more stoats. Here's the the Sasquatch. Dingo people. And the agitated stoats. I don't know how. I avoided doing the agitated stoats before. I'll have to see how uh, how good we are at handling those. I guess let's see. That seems okay. No, it's not getting away. Okay. Did you go splat? You're alive. Nope. Cool. Dead stoat. That's a dead stoat. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, toss them in. These are people. Still tossing them in. Yeah, and then the wolf people. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the stoats for a second. So dang many. God, this is ridiculous. Okay, that's good for now. <laughs> just, just toss the stoats. That was one... Oh, okay. You're being got right now. Yeah. Freedom! Bit them all! 
Hopefully nothing uh, gets free. They seem to be doing okay. Where did that one come from? You just... Okay. That was funny. Oh, I wanted to like... Let's just lock that. I, I would rather them come around this way. That's right. Wow. Well, that was... That was cool. Um, yeah, use those cages. I'm sure they need to go somewhere. And then... What? Why are you down here? Excuse you? Did you fall? <laughs> the door was locked. If they fell, then we would see it here. Um, who is who are you? Amos and Kubuk? At least Kubuk has a has an axe. Is that what I do? I lock one person with an axe down at the bottom to decapitate the things as they fall. Um They must have just, like, dodged in by accident. Amos. Yeah, Amos. Human Boneman, that's different. Yeah, you were fighting the, the, the Berserk Human. Quite a bit, jeez. Uh, here. Human, human. Stonecutter stands up. Oh, here we go. Sathet is dead. I am not feeling sad right now. <laughs> so it just starts by standing up. He must have fell. Punches the agitated gi giant stoat in the upper body. This is my fight, too. Why are you down here? In Kubuk? I guess I'm glad it wasn't that lethal. And you were fighting an owl earlier. I finished up some work. That was not satisfying. There's owl stuff. Herbalist stands up. Yeah. Usually... Usually if someone falls and takes damage, it shows up in the combat log. Like, in theory... <laughs> the stoat gives in to pain. Of course, now I'm not seeing it. Agitated stoat slams into an obstacle. And then you'll see... Yeah, uh... Well, that's the herbalist. Weird. I am confused. Well, we're gonna have to finish those off before I open the door. I'm glad one of you is armed. Are you conscious? You're you're healthy. And you're not you're not fighting. You're just Oh, are you still they're still handling them. Here, let's Let's bring our squad over. Let's check let's test their response time. Can I see don't show up here. Hey, that was pretty quick. Cool. Uh, let's open this. Open this. Nope, they're just gonna run out. Okay. Kill. Kill. Cool. Bladed weapons, I tell ya. Okay. 
Um, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff for them to clean up. So I'm going <laughs> to leave the doors open and they can deal with it. Now there's... Are they still... No, they're just recovering. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, take out the trash. It's fine. Probably going to need to make this bigger. Or no, they're going to go butcher a bunch of that, aren't they? Those are... Those are wild animals. Need more cabinets. Um, we have... Kitchen... Kitchen butcher shop. Yeah. Yeah, look. Been... Jeez, been dealing with all these stoats. We're going to need more food space, I think. And I think coming up here with it makes sense. Of course, I don't want to encroach on this. Maybe this is as big as that gets. We have so much leather. Oh my god. Uh, does this need to be bigger? Except. Um, this is all cloth. Yeah. Well, we're good on cloth and leather. I wonder if it would be wise to make... Like, we could just do a whole third level of stockpile just down here. Just have and then take these stairs down one more level. If we need more room I might do that. And then turn this into food stockpile. Something like that. I say okay. So then this will turn into like, ready-to-eat stuff, and then this will turn into materials for otherwise, other stuff. Raw ingredients, uh, industrial plant type stuff. Okay, so this all got done. So now we need to build stairs. Up. I'm blocked at this location. How is this supposed to work? How did I do this? I thought I... I swear. I swear, I swear. I have to do them one at a time. Uh, you. And then... Huh. Maybe you just have to do them one square at a time. Very strange. Uh, so we'll build that, and then here's going to be our seed stockpile. Ooh, coal. Ooh, nice. Cool. We've, like, done nothing on this level. There's going to be a bunch of coal. Let's do that. Except this is food, but just seeds. And it's I'm going to put them all there. And just remove this one. Uh, soap maker found dead. In the corpse stockpile. Hey, look, an agitated dingo man. Is that what happened here? Dingo people fighting. Well, then. Do we need to... Yeah, we have three... Three agitated dingo people. See one, two. Unless two of them are on top of each other. No. Here's the named one. Hills. One dwarf. Okay, well, let's say kill. Kill. And there's a third one somewhere. Here. J. 
doop doo. Okay. And they're all gonna, yeah. Everyone's coming up to the refuse stockpile to throw away all the dingo corpses. Now this is what, a stone cutter and a trapper? Except, good thing that this doesn't have armor. I guess the 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 trade-off that you get for all these animal people not belonging to a civilization and not being able to trade and, and interact with them like that is they don't have gear. Well, I guess they do sometimes. The fish people had gear. The ant people had gear. So maybe we're just being lucky here. Maybe either of these? No. They're just... There's naked dingo people. Hopefully... Okay, they can take them two on one. And here comes an axe dwarf. Yeah, here they come. Yeah. Dancing around. There's one. There's the other. And killed him right inside the, the corpse stockpile. Perfect. Very neat. Very cool. I am liking that our uh, our squads are being able to respond to the threats as they pop up. That's that's very good. Active defenses are very useful when they work. Um, okay, I'm curious where we're at with jet blocks. Your jet blocks. We have a whole. Four. Those are probably all from the stairs we deconstructed. Okay. Um, and this is gonna have to get bigger, isn't it? Oh, I just saw an owl. Um. Oh, we probably want like a roof here, don't we? Hmm. Let's do stair like that. And this will be temporary. Let's do that. Let's build a little lid on our, our roof there. And then these are all... Oh, there's a larch. Is this... Oh, of course it is. Bayberry, 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 bayberry. These are all bayberries. Probably gonna want to chop the ones that are right next to the wall too. I want to put like a um, like fortifications on the second level and have a little walkway so that our mark stores can stand on the wall and patrol around. Mm. I need wood. I just have to remember to. Uh, is there- is everyone freaking out because of the owl? Where is it? This one. There's- there's one flying around. Okay, of course. On a blind cave ogre. I assume that's down in the caves. That's in cave two, even. Okay. Enjoy the cave. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a tree. Pine. Perfect. Now... What else am I doing? Oh yeah, we were... we were doing stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, so this got made. So now let's do a wall. Out of... And I'm even just gonna floor over here. Interrupt floor, and we'll just do this. So now the only way up here is through the kitchen, basically. Or will be shortly. Oh, and we're saving. Perfect. Okay. 
I want to... I guess we're still probably still digging that area for the other... Whatchamacallit? Uh, food stockpile. Nope, it's done already. Cool. So let's do this. This is a food. This is, so there's going to be... Um, Food, essentially. And we'll just come in here and we'll say food. It's gonna be. Yeah, so the meat and the fish. So we could put our. Oh, we could do. We can make a distinction between prepared fish and unprepared fish. All the eggs and all the plants. But not the drinks, not the cheese, not the seeds. Fruit and leaves, yes. Milled plants, yes. Fat, yes. Paste, yes. Pressed material, yes. Yeah, honey, honeybee wax cake. Um, extracts, are we... I don't know that we're really... Oh, like rock nut oil, yeah. Um, animal extract, not that we will be finding much of these. Except milk counts, okay. And then misc liquid. E... Lye should go where the soap stuff goes. Which is here. Maybe it just goes, maybe it just goes in here. No, that's silly. We'll do this. It's basically gonna be soap junk stockpile. Uh, so we go food, lye, bars, soap, and ash. And these two, because why not? And then, so ash, lye, tallow will be in the other place. That's fine, because that's where they're going to be butchered. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then here, we're going to kind of do the opposite. We'll do yes to prepared meals, but not the unprepared stuff. Drinks down here. Cheese down here. And this is all just ingredients. Of course, I don't even know what milk of lime is. I guess we'll <laughs> we'll make sure it has a place to go, so we'll just go there. Um, but that can have all sorts of barrels. We'll even give it some wheelbarrows. Everything should have wheelbarrows, really. Except we don't have wood. Mm, I changed my mind. Carpenter's in a fey mood. Oh, and we should probably also place uh, our slab for our ghost. Imagine it's in place somewhere. Yeah, like why? Why? What if I do this? Hmm. Oh, and wooden barrels? Oh, we should stop making wooden barrels because we can make those out of stone. Right? I think... So I know we can make stone jugs. Um, so barrels themselves can be made out of wood or metal. 
can a jug be used for the same thing? Type of container made of ceramic and a kiln, metal at a forge, glass... Ooh, glass jugs. That'd be cool. Stone at a stone crafter, wood at a craft dwarf. They are used in beekeeping to store royal jelly or at a screw press to store honey. Jugs made from earthenware need to be glazed before they can be used to hold liquids. Jugs are stored in tools. Even when filled with food, they will be stored in finished goods stockpile. Interesting. Jugs are stacked in bins. Jugs can be used in adventure mode to store water like a water skin. Neat. But that kind of sounds like I can't use them for storing the stuff that goes in a barrel. Which is unfortunate. Because <laughs> we need... We need... We need stuff. Um, I'm gonna see... I, like, I want ballista parts. Um, and I want nine of them. I want to make three ballistas. I want to make two on the surface, and I want to make one by the cave entrance. And each ballista or catapult takes three parts. So I'm just going to say make nine ballista parts. Try to use the wood for all that. Hopefully our... Yeah, claim to carpenter. Cool. Rock mugs have been made. Rock salt blocks have been made. Everyone's been interrupted by an owl. Just continuously. Um, okay, so that got done. So now let's do a floor like this. And this can be rock salt. Like that. Oh, and did our, our bowl got filled? good. Nope. Where? Yeah, open space. Okay. The, the difference between farm plot tile and floor tile is kind of kind of subtle. Uh, let's do floor here. Rock all the blocks. Okay. What was I doing just a second ago? Hey, look, a great horned owl. You're just... Hopefully they all get kind of desensitized <laughs> to it all. Uh, okay, so that got done. So now... Get rid of that. We're also going to need wood for the war... Windmills. Whatever. Um, okay, so now... Whip vines. Year-round, please. Which means I should also set up the jobs for... The stuff. And then what else do we have... Uh, seeds for? We could do alfalfa, we could do barley, we could make beer. Longland grass can also be brewed. Potato, rat weed, strawberry. Mm. Well, whip vine can also be brewed, and it will be higher value than any of this other stuff. So I don't know that we really need stuff for booze. But things like blueberry and cranberry bushes would kind of be cool. All these do... you're gonna do them all year round. Okay, so let's do like potato and blueberry and cranberry and barley. Just for variety. Um, and these all have nothing currently. That's on purpose. I thought I got rid of this. I want to get... I want to just 
get rid of that. Yes. And then this is our seed stockpile. Now you're you're planting. Perfect. Perfect. Now. And that's all sealed in. Great. Great, great. You're sorting all this out. This is starting to look like a thing. Uh, Carpenter has created Zokan Fullet. A pine casket. Oh. Thank you. You used the wood? Thanks. Thanks, I love it. Um. Okay, so. We probably have a number of food things that need special attention. Plants. So barley is just going to get brewed. Pigtails is a process kind of a thing. Process plants. Needs empty bags. Oh, we could make bags. We can make a bunch of leather bags. That's probably worthwhile. We have so much leather. Oops, but not really. Uh, we care about empty bags. Made of leather. Oh, it's going to be... about type are there armor bags no yeah that don't that don't work how about adjective leather items yeah there we go empty leather bags and we have tanned hides. Yeah. Okay. So that's that'll be good. And then the main thing I care about is whip vine. But really what we do is we mill we mill plants. And I'm going to say I can't say mill Unrotten millable plants. But I want to say mill a specific kind of plant. Is that not how that works? It's just mill plants. Okay. I always I have to look this up every time. Mill. Sugar, flour, dye, and slurry. Each milling job requires an empty bag to operate. It needs to be connected to mechanical power. Yep. Yes, yes. Uh, if none is available, current can be used instead. We should probably maybe get some of those just for backup. Um, ensuring the exclusive mining of certain plants to say produce only dye, not flour, is quite cumbersome. Thanks. Requires a stockpile that only allows these plants and setting it to give to the millstone as it provides no menu to speci specify what to mill. Okay. If you don't set a custom stockpile, or stockpile, the miller will pick the closest random plants with the usual, occasionally surprising definition of closest. Oh. You also need something like a furniture stockpile that allows only bags. Oh boy, deactivate wood, stone, and metal. Nighty night. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be staring at a menu for a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. Hope you have a good rest of your week. So the question is, do I... Do I care? I kind of want to mill all the things that can be milled. I don't know if there's anything that can be milled that I don't want to mill. Yeah, well... 
just mill all the things. That's fine. Um, so long as you have empty bags. Yeah, we'll say 10 empty bags. And millable unrotten plants. Yeah, fine. That's also fine at 10. Yeah. Just. That's fine. <laughs> fine for now. Um, so what do we. Look at all this stuff. Everyone's got jobs? No one's hanging out in the... Wow, oh, yeah, look at all this. Okay. <laughs> Legendary casket. Cool, things. Hey, look, jet blocks are being made. Hmm, I wonder why that other one got stuck. Um, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> A little bit of snow there. Is this... No. Salt covered... Or snow covered... Block floor. Perfect. And these are all trees I want to keep. Yep. And we can get rid of this. What's this? Pine? We can chop the pine. And it's not on something. Cool. I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these even. As sad as that is, but we have so many we have so many bayberries. I'm <laughs> we don't need to stock up on bayberries, pretty sure. Plants. We already have a hundred whip vines. The bayberries must be, like, getting used, too. Um, if we go to our, go to our kitchen. Barley for booze, longland grass for booze, pigtails for booze. Let's save our pigtails. Lump helmets for both. Quarry bushes to cook. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say... It might be more worth it to just grind all the whip finds into flour and use that for the prepared meals. I think that's what we want to do. Um, we're not cooking our seeds, that's good. We are cooking bayberry wine, which is probably fine. Cranberry wine and whip wine and wine must be grapes grape wine okay um and all our cheese okay yeah we're getting look at the cheese cool cool oh here's some more lynx people did that one just fall over dead, like, immediately? I think that one got caught in a cage. <laughs> Attend meeting. Conduct meeting. This is a perfect place for a meeting. Thank you, guys. I'd also like if someone finished this. You also gonna end up in a... in a cage here? Expedition leader just like full on murder a lynx person? Yes. I <laughs> must withdraw. Interesting. Okay. You're, you're just gonna you're gonna just chill, okay. They can all just climb, can't they? We need to make our wall taller so that they can't people can't just like hop over. 
Uh, that's combat, isn't it? Tired, winded, overexerted. Okay, cool. Hold on. Please kill that. Confirm. Oh, someone just exploded into teeth. Okay. Neat. More dead things. And there's another one. They're just everywhere. Slipped into depression. We need to make our people happier. We need to make this a happy place. Um, I'm just going to give a kill order on that last Lynx person before I look away and everything goes wrong. I assume they can take care of it. But our waterfall situation, that's right. I was putting some thought into this and doing some reading. I think we can do it with just a... Um, a pressure plate as detecting water and I think we're going to do that I also wanted to do this I want to have some floodgates that are connected to a pressure plate that open when there is not enough water in our system here and I could do that by connecting them to these existing floodgates, but I kind of want to have floodgates that I manually control in addition to the the automated floodgates, just for the purpose of redundancy and safety. Because if our if our automated floodgates just get stuck open, then there's no there's no getting in here to fix it. Um, but also, there's like nowhere in here to stand to, to make more floodgates like I can't really put one here because of the diagonal um, fortunately our river is frozen right now so I think what I'm going to do is just open this for the moment cool um, so that will introduce some more water into our system but not a ton of course, I'm going to want to turn off our power, aren't I? For the, the pumps, because I don't want it to actually continue to pump while we're working on it. So we'll, we'll turn that off. And then we'll come in here and we'll create more floodgates. Hey! Someone gave birth. Doctor is fighting. That's a good sign. What is... Great Horned Owl. Well, there's already a... Administrator. Bleeding! Unconscious! Okay. I was gonna say, it's a, it's a, it's a military person. Is our expedition leader, our replacement expedition leader is, uh, or no, administrator. Okay. Well. Kill, kill the owl. Thank you. Everything else okay up here? It's really just, there's always exactly one owl up here to harass us. Where, where am I at? Where am I? Okay, we're, we're watching here. Hammerdorf. Dang it. Yeah. Please, please finish off. Yeah, thank you. Fortunately, half the people that ended up up here have axes for the purpose of chopping trees. Can they... they're gonna have to, like... Oh, no, they can't. I'm gonna have to build a way across here, aren't I? Or I guess they could go 
all the way around. Let's not make them <laughs> do that every time. Let's just do this. This is all just going to be rock salt floor. That's fine. We've used a lot of jet. Um, but now, if this could open, that would be great. Someone, they just did it, okay. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, now this is emptying. Perfect. So now we have basically a season fish dissector found dead. Why? Oh, wolves. This place is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Are you, you are bleeding. Kill those three and those two. My god. And then we also need to replace a person. Not Hammerdorf. Oh, that's interesting because I said that this position should have a hammer specifically. It's telling me how good they are at hammering instead of wrestling. That's good to know. Oh, hey, our expedition leader is a decent hammer dwarf. Everyone who's not in the squad is not a hammer dwarf. Yeah, I want pump operator. I don't care about that. And then, oh, people have been, we've been losing people. And these are all Marks Dwarves. And no one is a Marks Dwarf. A trapper. And... Carpenter? We have so many Carpenters. What's the difference between a Breaker and a Traitor? A broker and a Traitor. Woodburner, you're fine. My god. Cat! Oh no! The cat isn't going to save us this time. <laughs> Ugh. Just everything showing up all at once. Well, oh, that's a bit of a melee. Okay, here's a person. Someone with a pick. <laughs> cool. Cheese. Okay. Anyway, we were here. This is all doing just fine, and it's all just gonna drain. Yeah, and it's like it's not even fully all the way down yet. Okay. So... I think we're just going to... I would kind of wish I had... I could put the manual ones behind the automated ones. So I'm gonna have to, like, remove links and change links and... Okay, that's fine. Because if I... I can't just unlink, right? You just deconstruct the the lever. That's the access gate. That's the refill gate. Let's do that. Of course, removing it while they're open, they'll have to we'll have to pull it twice next time. That's how that works. Oh, but then we will make. Floodgates here. 
Oh, no access. We have to open this one. Of course. Oh. I might just... Or do we just deconstruct? Oh, we need... I still need to place that freaking slab. Here. Furniture. Do I have any more? I don't even remember. You know you're doing good when you don't know how many ghosts you have. Okay, yeah, we're fine. And these just have crappy mechanisms, so I don't care about them. Okay, so now this is open. So now let's build a machine. Floodgate. And we have some rock salt floodgates. Thank goodness. So those... Those will end up being our manual ones. And then the ones in front will be our, our automated ones. And then these will be built closed, so if we have a, have a spring thaw, then we'll be fine. We'll be safe again. So that's fine. Why is our trade goods empty? Shouldn't there be a bunch of stuff in here? Where's all my stuff? It's not, oh look, all the bones. Uh, we should split, let's split the, the bones and the wool situation. Uh, so we'll do none. And then we will make a new. And... Okay, ghost put to rest. Hooray! And then we have armor's workshops here, but actually... Let's do it this way. Let's just get rid of these. <laughs> All that thread is going to just pop out all over the ground. Um, but we have farmer's workshops here, so then we will just say that hair and wool can go into this one. And this is where our spinning will happen. Right. Uh, it's part of refuse here. And... If it should have its own spot, it's gonna. It's just gonna fill things up real quickly, isn't it? I don't know. Donkey milk barrel. Oh, that's a that's a smelly barrel, isn't it? Just a bunch of just a bunch of animal parts in a barrel. And here's all our whip vines. Cool. Now, yeah, let's just do wool can go here, alpaca, llama, and sheep. And then all of the other things I'm just going to have to deal? I don't know. Maybe I should have it accept stoat hair, too. Um, and then our spin thread. I can't remember if that was tied to a, a workshop or not. Salt blocks. Yeah, I'm not seeing, um... We're making bags. Let's do... Let's just do a spin thread. 
thing. Or we'll just do we'll do it one at a time. Right? Are you seriously not already doing that? Okay. Um we'll just do this daily amount of thread greater than one. Or no, that's the output. I want this greater than one. If there's a thing you can spin, then spin it. Easy enough. Um, all of our mechanisms, which are of mediocre quality. Not seeing any masterworks in here. Yeah. Hopefully someone's getting good at that. Hopefully I haven't killed the people that are getting good at that. A skilled mechanic. Okay. Oh, and two skilled mechanics. Perfect. On oh, our expedition leader. Uh, okay. Those are miners. We have four miners. We have a legendary miner. Except that you are also a mechanic. Is this assigned to a... Only do tasks that match their workshop assignments. I'm assuming that that means that they'll do both of these and not just be tied to one task or the other. I don't know that for sure. Um, okay, so one of these got placed. The other one's being worked on. So now what we need to do is place a pressure plate. Um, but while we have all our waterwork situation is kind of open, I'm going to make a modification to it. So I'm actually going to remove these wall grates in particular on each level. We're going to bring the actual waterfall part closer. Remove. Okay. Hey, look! It all ended up down here. Perfect. Of course, a bunch of it's going to dry out. That's fine. Now the question is, where do we put... Okay, perfect. Where do we put... the the pressure plate? Because ideally, what we're going to do is have, say, maybe halfway down. What's going to happen is we have a pressure plate here that's detecting when the water in here goes below a certain level. Say when it's below, when it's three or below, this will activate and pull, pull open those floodgates and then the water will start flowing down and there's gonna be some period of time before the water gets from the top down to wherever our pressure plate is and that will determine how much water comes in at a time and then once that water that's being let in gets down to the floodgate then there's more water on the floodgate and it will it'll flip it'll close it'll close the floodgates So how far up or down we put the pressure plate will determine how long the gates are open, essentially. So it's kind of a crapshoot as to where where it belongs. I'm not the very top and not the very bottom. Um, if we have one, two, three, four, five, that'll be the middle. I want to remove... Where are we? My cat is coming from... Open space. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, yes. So to get in here, we remove this one. 
I think that will give us access down here. Of course, there's no ramps here, but probably fine. So we're going to want access to all these floors, aren't we? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell them to place pressure plate. Um, water does trigger. Water depth. Right? This triggers on water depth 1, 2, or 3. Water depth 0 would kind of... Well, ideally... Ideally, it doesn't one dry. I think water depth zero would kind of trip it up a bit. But any time it's between one and three, so maybe we do like four as well, just to give us some some leeway, I guess. Um, yeah, let's let's place it here. No access to mechanisms. Okay, because it's because they can't get down there. Do it this way. Construct. Stair. Like that. And this will be... Hey, look! There's logs! Hi, cat. She's just been laying here this whole time. I'm gonna lay back down. Okay, bye. Now let's do that. Um, I want to make sure that the wood gets used for the things I care about. I do wish they would build that. Of course. Do we actually have ballista parts being made? That would be fantastic. Hi. Where do those actually be... Where do those get placed? They're lurking. Siege ammo. Is it its own? Is there just a ballista parts? Ballista parts. Hey, look! We have five, six, seven. We have we have ballista parts. Okay, cool, good. Mm. Can we build the rest of our floor here? Jet blocks! Hooray! Oh. Okay. Now I believe they can get in here and build that one. Oh, look, a lynx. Oh my goodness. Constant. Constant nonsense. Hey. The microphone is not a scratching post. Um, he's here. Two are still missing a crossbow. You are quite ragtag, but that's fine. Um, I'll just go kill the lynx, please. Oh, look, a tree. Uh, let's chop that tree. No, leave it. Anymore. There's one here. Trees! Happy for trees. Um, and we didn't end up with any more holes, I don't think. I haven't chopped anything over here. <laughs> There's the one little little bit of snow. You ugh. Okay. This is all this is all Bayberry. Right? Except for... No, all of them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Um, so that means I want to start working on, on that other stuff, but we'll... we'll get there. 
Um, uh, uh, Sasquatch is fighting. Where did that happen? Did that already get taken care of? Must have. Okay. Um, but I'm glad that the siege weapons have been done. That's one use of wood that we don't have to worry about for a little bit. Um, I do want to make sure that not all of it gets used so I can make these windmills. Our seeds here all of our a lot of our seeds are okay mm, trying to keep my brain in order I'm okay so on each of these levels currently we have water dropping one tile back from from the walkway, but I think I want to have it drop in this tile that's directly adjacent and not have a, a whatchamacallit, uh, gap. Like, I don't want to have bars here. I just want to have the waterfall directly right here so that the mist more reliably ends up in dwarf faces. That's the main thing. Which means we are channeling out some different tiles. So there and here. Not that I can <laughs> get there real easy. I guess I do like that. Not really, though. Ugh. Why do that one? So I want to channel here. I could make Do I and I'm gonna have to put walls behind? I think, I think I do. Let's do... Um, these can be, these can be rock salt, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just, I guess let's fill all these in. No access, or no. My brain. My brain. And then here. And this this will give us some different places to stand on as well. And here. second to do that stuff. Um, so these are going to be the automated ones. They still have... It's still linked? I thought I said... It just hasn't happened yet. Of course. I told you to de deconstruct. Oh my... Okay. Giant links. Is dead. Cool. Thanks. No one else died, right? And there's another Sasquatch. Agitated Sasquatch. I'm gonna come up, sneak up on someone chopping down a tree. <laughs> Just 
squads are getting some uh, practice in, that's for sure. Should probably be making some bolts? I don't know. I feel like I want to have a large quantity of bolts, but bone bolts, bone bolts are not very effective compared to like metal bolts. Um, so I have them making copper bolts currently. Oh, why are you all in this corner? Are you all climbing? Wow. Full, full on Benny Hill. <laughs> okay, that worked. Don't look a wolf. I do... I want... I wish we had magma just for the purpose of burning all the corpses. So we got a lot of corpse junk going on here now. Because then I could just dump it inside. I wouldn't have to worry about coming out here. Uh, oh, so they're all gonna... <laughs> still have a kill order on something in a cage. Whatever. Go kill the wolf instead. Here it goes. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that didn't work. He had a crossbow. Ugh. Abogers fighting. It's gotta be. He just fell. Okay. What happened to your friends? You got all separated. Buddy system. Didn't we learn this in the last fortress? Yeah, you found your friend. Cool. Hey, look, another. Cool. Well, who wants to be a Marksdorf? I hope we get another migrant wave or something. Because <laughs> uh, they're... They're dropping like flies. Peasant. Um, in theory, we have... Copper bolts is checking. So we should have a whole bunch of copper bolts. Um, and we should also have a whole bunch of... Quivers and such. Which end up in tools, if I'm not mistaken. Hives, jugs, wheelbarrows, and the honeycomb. We should make um, some rot, some wax crafts and stuff. What are we? Ugh. Um, maybe for some of these, like, wolves and stuff, I'll send just the, the melee squads and not the, <laughs> the Mark stores. They run around without ammo. Um. Also curious about our craft situation. Because, like, you're not doing nothing. You are, but it's... Oh, why is it paused? How long have I had that paused? Well, this is... That's all working now. Good. Okay. I must have paused some things by accident. Okay, cool. They're all... They're working now. Are you going to, like, immediately activate? Because this is rock crafts, shell crafts. Um, yeah, there it goes. Jeez. I'm actually going to say one of these is going to be rock crafts exclusively. And then this other one... 
I'm part of Prager found dead. Mm. This one's gonna be shell crafts. And wax crafts. And totems. And then we can also just do bone craft. Why not? Um, and then these are all going to be... Uh, just, just infinite, right? How, do I, how did I do this one? This one is... As long as we have rock. Okay, that makes sense. So then here, do the same thing. Five, 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 five. Um, actually, this one's gonna be one. We'll just do one, one skull at a time. Um, but shells, as long as we have shell parts. And then wax, as long as we have wax. Ball. And then totems, as long as we have skulls. And bone crafts, as long as we have bones. Okay. And then those should go. And then rock will just be forever. And then we have these other two for all the other jobs. Okay, and then... Mechanics aren't going because we have a whole bunch of mechanisms. Oh, the owls! Why are you up? Were you... you were building floor, of course. Are there more? No. I only figure out things are happening after the fact. Look how grumpy everyone is. We have zero happy people. Is that just a cage? Cool. Um, let's go ahead and place machine, windmill, Yeah. Oh, that was a big one. That's just a a named, agitated, giant peregrine falcon. Who has killed a dwarf. Of course, our... How are you doing on, on bolts here? Yeah, they're all... No, and you need more. You need, a, you need to replace your, uh, your leather armor there. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if we just need more, more stuff. Let's do quiver. Backpack. Water skin. We'll do ten of each of those. Just once. And... That may help some things. This, this falcon worries me. Where'd it go? There it is. Just leave. No one wants you here. Annoyed by the snow, annoyed by the rain, terrified of the dwarves. And it just... Hey look, migrants! Okay, I just had to complain about it. Uh, I says, you new arrival, you are a bookbinder. Hey look, someone's been found dead. Who was that? 
that? When did that happen? Reg planter. When did that happen? My goodness. Okay, you. You have a crossbow. You don't have ammo. Jeez, we probably need some more coffins. Oh, but look, we're we're slowly getting through our slowly getting through our furniture backlog. Um, do we if we fill all of our no, not all of them. Most of them though. this. Dig out some more. Or no, that's wrong. Okay. Oh, and we're gonna need more more jet. Just keep keep mining the jet. I haven't stopped wanting it. And there's probably um Well that's all lignite. Well that's cool. You can see so we had a big this was a whole big thing of of magnetite and it has a little vein of, of lignite running through it. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. Lignite is good. Mm, yeah, just keep... Keep digging the lignite. Claystone. There's all these... clusters. This is, this is also lignite. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's a lot of lignite, and that's lavender, and then this is all tetrahedrite. We're going to be quarrying out this whole freaking level by the time we're done. Um, and then how's this? Oh yeah, we should construct a bridge. And this is going to be a retracting bridge. That just goes here. And this can be our rock salt. That'll work. And then this is linked, right? Yeah. And these all have cages. And we can make a freaking ballista. Uh, where do those even come from? Ballista. So we're going to put it here. Why would ballista parts takes all takes three and then you don't choose its placement because you can you can turn it around while it's made or like after it's made um and then we were gonna smooth smooth all this and i guess we need to wait in here so maybe we'll just Oh, auto. Yes, we'll just we'll do that, and then we'll close it off afterwards, and then same kind of deal here. Um, because we I'm gonna, because I'm going to put another retracting bridge on this level. And then I also want to put in some bridges to the side to kind of flip up anything that can come through. Like the doors will take care of most things, but there are some things that can get through doors. Um, so I want to make sure that we have a way to deal with those two. And then this one will come this way. There. That's some stuff. 
Um, and the main reason I was coming down here was to look for our quarries. We're getting through our marble. We have so much. Oh man, so happy with this. Glad that glad that marble is uh, in vast quantities when it does show up. This is all tetrahedrite, cobalite. Tetrahedrite, cobalite. I'm looking for cassiterite. So we can get uh, bronze going. Milk quartz. I swear I saw some. Oh, here, yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, perfect. We already got a whole bunch of cassiterite. Or a whole bunch. Um, luckily, you need less tin than you do copper to make bronze. So that'll that'll go pretty far-ish. Do wish we had more. That's the end of the. I can see there's more. It's just the edge of the map, so I can't dig it. Um. But we could also just dig some more, some more exploratory tunnels through here. Um, and same thing on these other granite levels. The, this is granite, so let's just keep keep exploring. Give our miners things to do. This level two. There's there's some granite here. Yeah. Not not all granite, but it has granite. Then uh, we should come down here and make a place for the Cassiterite to go. Except this is for stone of Cassiterite. Perfect. Okay, oh look, here's our wool. Very cool. I'm to think everything's still being interrupted. Hey, look, we've thawed. Oh, look, a Sasquatch. Running around. Of course, just being chased by... <laughs> crossbow doors without ammo. How about... The melee squad comes up. And deals with that. Is that you? Running the other way. Very cool of you. Oh, is the... The, <laughs> the cat's helping! <laughs> the Sasscratcher. I'm gonna laugh so hard if it gets the killing blow. And be very sad if it dies. Because all of you are just bashing it with wooden crossbows, aren't you? You got nothing. You got nothing. Where's our squad? Here, you, please. <laughs> Kill the Sasquatch. Come on. There we go. Thank you. So... Didn't get kills assigned to it, but this cat has now been involved in killing two Sasquatches. Kind of hilarious. Um. All right. Are we are we okay up here for the moment? Are you all are you all cool? There is an owl. A giant rat somewhere, but it's in the caves. Okay, good. Wow, that was quick. Jeez. And look, our ballista. So yeah, you can just change... You can just change the face... Uh, change its facing. Um, and then that will be there for... When... When we need it. Um, I'm going to leave it on not in use for now, but when we open... Uh, the... The gates. Uh, we can just have... We can set it to... Um, prepare to fire, essentially, and then a dwarf will come down and stand on it, 
and will just be there waiting for something to happen. And when you say fire at will, they will just freely fire at uh, any target that they see. Um, but we should also, for that reason, we should make a little stockpile for uh, for ballista bolts. So that'll go there, um, which means we need to make ballista bolts, which, if memory serves, are like mostly wood. Brilliant. Uh, siege engine. It's a big article, whatever. Um, if I just come into here and say the list, and I, I mean, we could just make them out of copper or whatever, right? Forge. Wait, there's there's forging the arrowheads, and then there's assembling the arrow. For two separate jobs. Let's go up to our siege workshop. Got thread, totem, rock door, cabinet, blocks, blocks, crafts. Cool. Things are ha things are happening. Oh yes, we need to deal with our waterfalls too. Um, that's all good. That's all good. Uh, well, uh, arrow ballistas, ballista. <laughs> Here, add new task. So then if I say, assemble copper ballista arrow. Is, is that just gonna immediately cancel? What's it, what's it gonna do? Yeah, and the, but they took a log. Um, so, enter my links people needs copper arrowhead but i think i think they just also take wood which is gonna be brutal but that's where we're at um let's just do you know what if they're gonna be so precious bronze ballista arrowhead and we'll make five at a time and then Oh, maybe it is just maybe it is just the metal. Okay. So let's keep now oh, arrow heads. We'll keep five, but then we'll have to assemble the arrows themselves too. Of course. So this is just the arrowhead. So of course it's just going to take bronze. Um, we don't have bronze bars. So that's also fine. But then if I come in here and say, assemble bronze ballista arrow. And come in here, that is going to take logs. So I want to keep like... I don't even know how quickly we're going to go through them. I'm, I'm not as, as versed in, in the siege weapons. Um, so some of this is an experiment, but we're going to need... Yeah. Um, or no, we let's just do five at a time. But we'll do that. Then we'll have twenty ballista siege ammo. We're gonna have to make two different stockpiles. We're gonna wanna put them in two different places. Hmm. That'll be annoying. Um, but that'll get them going. Oh, but we also want to make a s smelting cassiterite ore. And then we can make bronze bars from the bars. I think that's what the way I want to do it, too, because I'm, I'm making copper for the sake of having copper. And you can make bronze from 
like from the ore, you could do cassiterite plus tetrahedrite, or you can do copper plus tin. Um, but we're gonna do we're gonna do the bar part. And here five, five. Um, and I want to have oh ten tin on hand, so long as we have some cassiterite and coal. And then making bronze bars, want to have 10 bronze on hand. We need tin and copper and coal. Yeah, now let's keep like 20 bronze on hand. It'll take them a minute to, to get all that going, but that's that's fine. <laughs> all of our silly thread. Stone cutter found dead. People. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, is anyone a Hammerdorf? I kind of doubt it. Adequate Hammerdorf. Novice Hammerdorf. Our expedition leader, of course. You. And you. <laughs> um. You, you're a spear person, yeah. Let me guess. No ammo. No ammo. Jeez. And one here too. There's just so many. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Well, that got made. Are you, are you stuck here? Why is it? Oh, because I've disconnected the other stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I do need some more, though. I might even just cancel that one and to retell them to do it. Yeah. Any more trees? Anything else I can cut down? Please? Bayberry, 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 bayberry. They're all bayberries. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, these stupid lynx people, they're gonna kill this. Okay. Oh. No, we're. Okay. Oh, you're not being very helpful, are you? Hmm. <laughs> Uh. There's one down here too. Where's our soldiers? Yeah. Okay. There's still two more. I wonder, so I've, I've heard of people, sorry, just keeping an eye on, yeah, there we go. Oh no, a Sasquatch. All good? Kill Sass. Oh, in a cage. Okay, that's fine. Cancel. Anyway, I've heard of people having trouble with Mark's dwarves picking up bolts if the squad exists before the uniform, is the part that I've heard. I don't know if that's the thing that's screwing us up right now. I'm tempted to say... 
like we do have some bolts. Yeah, we have 250 copper bolts here. That's a lot of... Jeez. Or, uh, possibly more than I meant for you to make. But it's... Okay, it is satisfied. Well, let's just keep it at like 200. I'm tempted to just undo this squad and remake it. Or even just, can I update equipment? Does that... I don't know if this will kind of prompt them to to grab their stuff again. And then anyone else? Markstorf? 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 No. <laughs> Literally no one. Potash maker, yeah, there you go. Um, and then in, in, in theory, do we have steel? I told them to make steel. Let's go to bars. We have a bunch of iron, we have a bunch of silver, and we have some steel. And a bunch of platinum. Ooh. Okay. So the way that I have their uniform set up is they're doing. Let's just do this. Leather armor, but a male shirt and a metal helm. Leather leggings, but metal gauntlets. And I think I have the melee ones have greaves on top. Breeze instead, maybe? And then shields. I don't know how we're doing on shields. Um, somewhere in here. Shields. Yeah, we should make some shields. Why is that forbidden? That looks like a good one. <laughs> where, where are you? Oh, just in the cave. Nice. Okay. Well, that means we should make some steel shields and steel mail shirts. We'll make ten of each of those to complement our ten steel helms. And that will hopefully make them a little bit safer. Because, geez, all these corpses. Donkey full. Okay. I also want enough wood to make two more windmills. I'll look a wolf. Now, as far as our waterfall situation goes, where are we at? Where are you? Spin thread. <laughs> sure, whatever. Bronze Warhammer. And some wine. The, ne the necessities. Okay. Did this ever get removed? No, it did not. Please remove the lever so I can rehook it up and then we have that I want to I want to channel this one and also here maybe I'll I'll just we'll risk it they'll they'll pop out down here and they'll be fine in theory um, then let's write this. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then the next one. Right, okay. So then we just do like this. Yeah. 
Okay. I think I will have to do something to give them access to all these spaces. That's fine. Rock salt block. Then channel here. And then that will be good. And then we can channel out this space and then put like a grate on top of it. I think that's what we're doing. Now here, this stair got made. So we can try to make our pressure plate. It's coming down from here, so we'll do like we'll do like here. The water does trigger. This is a first attempt. Oh, look at all these mechanisms, jeez. And none of them are masterwork. Of course. Okay, so we'll build that and then we'll link it to those other, those other things. I am imagining that we'll want, I think I want to do a stair situation like this because I think I can just put a grate on top of that. A construction floor grate, yeah. So let's build a stairwell in each of these little troughs, like here. So we'll remove, remove. I think I need to remove them all before I can do anything. Let's, I guess let's see. Uh, stair. Like that. Yeah, building present. Okay. So then we'll just remove each of these. Remove. That one's done. And then remove. And remove. And remove. And remove. And remove. And remove. Okay. Give them a task. Both of those don't work. That's great. And these. Also, what is up with our wells? Mm. I might have to I might have to do some searching. Because if these aren't being proper water sources right now, then that's not good. Especially because everything's frozen and everyone's in the hospital. No health problems? Then why are you here? Diagnosis required. Uh, we have our doctors still assigned. We have we have thread, we have cloth, we have splints, we have crutches. We don't have powder. Oh, we could make powder. Um, and then soap. Yeah, soap will happen eventually. Oh, ballista, no ammo. Yeah. Ugh. All these corpses! Oh, I should put down those, uh... Yeah. Furniture, burial... Yeah, I'll just do this. Someone's just gonna randomly get a uh, artifact <laughs> coffin. Oh well. And then we can make them into actual tomb spaces. Yeah, we have someone here, so I guess we're we must be out. 
It's the <laughs> the overflow. And these are... that's all being done. Okay. Leather stuff got made. Oh, did I leave the... did I leave that ballista on... like, prepare to fire? I did. Just not in use. That's fine. That got dug, though. So let's do stockpile. I'm actually gonna do, like... I don't want it to be too big, right? Ammo. Um, specifically... You know, where does... Did its own thing? There's like furniture. Ballista arrowhead, ballista parts. I don't know where the arrows get stored. Uh, let's come back to that. I'm not using it right now. That's fine. Do need to link these to stuff. Um, that all got dug though. Or yeah, this is upward slope. Yeah, so now we need to dig like this. Yeah, that'll happen eventually. Okay, so let's go back up to the top here of our waterfall. So I want to put a stairwell here. I don't think it's strictly necessary with all these ramps, but I would kind of feel better. Let's just do it like this. Like this. We'll do we'll do rock salt blocks. Then like this. Then like this. And then that one's already done. And here. Still waiting on that one, I guess. Is that the last one? No, not quite. And I don't think I need to be in here. I guess we might as well. <laughs> okay. Just in case someone falls in. Cool. Oh, look, people are getting out of the hospital. That's great. Love to see it. How are we on? How's our, um, oh, and that got made. <gasps> perfect, 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 perfect. Um, don't imagine I have more wood. need four logs. There's more. Look at them. Oh, you're just gonna get yourself in trouble, aren't you? Pick up equipment. And you have a spear, at least. <laughs> or just ignore them all. I think that works, too. Yeah, if we can coexist. I'm okay with coexisting. If they're okay with coexisting, They just aren't always, it seems. Um, and how's our critter stuff going? 
We have Stray Llama, Baby Llama, Baby Llama, Stray Llama, Ram. Okay. And you're, you're doing stuff. Cool. Now, you're doing milk and shear. Perfect. And we still have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I want to deconstruct these. These aren't doing anything. Realistically, I'd go here instead. Let's just do like... The crappy ones. They're all, they're all kind of crappy. Basically, just move those over there. And... Still not seeing a bunch of crafts here. Why... Are we not making crafts? They're, they're just all sitting here. Why? Why? Look at all this. Strange. Uh, you don't have any weird stuff. Uh, yeah. Why would that not be working? Why would they not be taking stuff there? Does it not have bins? It does have bins. It has wheelbarrows. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, did I just see... Things sneaking in? No. You just you just look like a dingo person with your yellow outfit. Oh no, who's fighting? Human Maceman versus Lynx Man. No, I did see something. Well, I'd rather our random human uh I don't know what this is. Treasure hunter? Monster hunter? Yeah, hunt those monsters. Hey, we're saving. Did we not get... I forget what seasons people show up in for trading. Corpses. Construction of upstairs. Yeah, why are you? Oh, it's just, just there's a bunch of magnetite down there, of course. Okay, Let's start back up at the top. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Aspect is that we want to mite out this tile.
Oh, and here, of course. Construct, stair. Uh, here. Oop. And you get rock salt blocks. Thank you. Then here. And then we're good. Because each of those, yeah, so the, the bottom part is fine. It was dropping to here, now it will drop to here, and then everything else is fine. This can just stay open. I don't care about that. I do also kind of want to remove all the ramps in here. Kind of for the sake of clarity, almost. Yeah, it's a good thing we put those gates in. Everything's thawed now. Um. All right, I want to remove, I wanna remove that ramp. No, not channel. Oop, oop, oop. Hold on. Removing ramps. Right. Constructed walls, floors, and other constructed tiles also designates all stairwells and ramps. Okay. And here. Here. That one's good. Here. 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 And this side is fine, and then we're fine here. Okay, cool. We're getting there. Um, we do need to link that pressure plate once it's built. Any minute now. Doctor's been found dead. Ugh. The owls. Just station <laughs> up here, please. Uh, they have, okay, they got their stuff. They do not. Where'd it go? there. Just, yeah, just dive bomb the, the armored people. That's what I want you to do. Ugh. They're just, they just chill up there for ages. Make everything cancel. Oh, look at the blue ones. What are those? These are new. Uh, Automanon skeleton. Uh-oh. Great horned owl skeleton. Where did these come from? Human necromancer mercenary. Is this... Is this someone being helpful by raising corpses? Uh-oh. Human mercenary necromancer slams into an obstacle. Where is this person? Um, oh god. Now we have goat skeletons? Undead wolf man heads? This is getting much worse much quickly. Where's... Wild animals. Because you're not a citizen, that's for sure. You're not pet or livestock. Where? Human necromancer. The most recent thing you've done is die. Oh, got it. 
Um, so you just raised a couple of corpses in a panic and then died? Human mercenary necromancer misses the agitated lynx man damned corpse. Did you get attacked by your own stuff? Human mercenary necromancer's hand, right hand skids along the ground and the part splits into gore. God. You... The mercenary gestures. All these things begin to move. Owl woman, damned corpse. Lynx man, damned corpse. Wolf man, damned corpse. And then gestures. And then the heads. Skeleton shudders and begins to move. Okay, and then human mercenary necromancers. What does that mean? Losing the muscle. Left upper leg skids along the ground. Huh? Uh. This necromancer did a lot of stuff and it ended up with him dead and a bunch of corpses. Yeah, damned corpse. These are going to continue to be a nuisance after the necromancer is dead. Oh my god. Uh, we just have- they're stationed here, yeah, okay. That's- that's good. Oh, and how did you get inside there? What the hell? Uh, let's lock that real quick. This is inside. Must have- There's- there's corpse junk inside our fortifications, and the necromancer just reanimated them from outside. Okay, um, this is a good call for an alert. Let's uh, let's have everyone go inside. There's a bunch of corpses now roaming around. Um, let's see, Burrows safety. Currently, yeah. sure our our new stuff is marked as safe so that's good um, that's good that's not um, oh and this stairwell This is all fine. This is all fine. Even this, this is all fine, actually. Um, except for the... Yeah. Whatever. We'll do, we'll do like this. Yeah, that's fine. And then this is all the same. Essentially the same. Yeah, that can go up. And... Yeah. The fortress is nice and compact. I am happy with that so far. this and all this and then yeah say this stuff is safe but this is this is all outside this is all outside yeah we'll say that's the end of the safety um aside from our we do have some quarries down here Say this level's fine. 
This one's fine. Keep working on digging our stuff. There we go. Okay. Now, everyone in. And our soldiers are still stationed up here. Ugh. Okay, well, we caught some things. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Gnarly, gnarly. That was, uh, that was cool. Just a whole bunch of corpses by surprise. You're here. Who have we... We've lost one. He's still... And like this, what do I do about this? Luckily, I don't think they can get through the door. Ugh. You, yeah, you're a corpse. Okay, well, at least we're here together. We do have to be careful about these ponds, though. We know how dwarves do with swimming. Oop, oop. Can you, like, actually take care of that one before you just run off? Wow. At least there's cages here. Oh, that was... Yeah... Mm. <laughs> okay. Did you actually get it? Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Wow! Uh, so that was undead. We haven't really had to deal with undead yet. Despite our forest fortress being in a full evil zone, we didn't really have to deal with them. Not in this quantity. Just a random necromancer shows up. And then you're, you're just going to shamble your way in. I got a tree out here now. On over here. My goodness. Okay, so that's all been taken care of. I come from here. So what if we just do Hey look, caravan. Welcome. Uh, let's do maybe like this. And then like that, because that's the way in. Yeah, so we will still have access to, and then squads can do whatever they want. still have access to whatever, like our machinery and stuff here, but we won't go around this corner to where things are actually coming down. So, yeah, that was fun. Here's the traders. Where are you going all the way around? Dealt with most of the zombies. There might still be some. Can't promise anything. At least the necromancer's dead. And I can't even take credit for that. <laughs> okay, one of these upstairs is being... Uh... Finicky, yeah. Ugh, I kind of want to finish some of these things, but also... Can they... Can they just get down there from there? Is that... Yeah. Cancel this 
Do we even have a dump? We don't even really have a dump zone, do we? Here. Uh... Is it this? No, it's... How do you make a dump? Garbage dump. That's... that's what it is. Um, I'll just... <laughs> I'll sneak it back here. How about that? And then let's go to here, and yeah, I just want to see if they can dump that magnetite. Then now everyone's... yeah. Cool! Merchants vs. Zombies. How do you like that? They're probably a little bit better to better equipped for it. Unless the zombies just kill the caravan and we end up stealing another caravan's worth of stuff. <laughs> Through no fault of our own. Oh god. Wolf. Giant wolf chasing a horse that has nothing. It's just a horse. Okay. Curl Rider. We saw a big pile of something. Yeah. Okay. Did the merchants get inside? They did. So I could just close this, keep them as safe as possible. Oh. This one never got removed. That's real cool. Now they're safe. And then we can do this. There. Right? Is it finally actually happening? Yeah, there you go. Um, ah. Broker cannot access depot. Why not? Um, oh, are we still we still have our alert on? Okay. I don't need leather, that's for sure. What do I want? I want bolts. I want um I want what was it? Crossbows and war hammers and battle axes and shields somewhere else. Uh, trap components, these are these are all good. Mail shirts. Don't need leather armor. How about shields? Shields. Instruments are good. Um, oh, and we could just straight up ask for llamas. Llama, llama. And alpacas, for that matter. Ropes, barrels, sand. No, this is all fine. Oh, buck buckets. Oh, we should just ask for wood. Can you bring me wood? Wood. Just all of the wood. Please. Done. Okay. Okay. Then what are you... are you not... you're not gonna... seriously injured. You're not even gonna, like, successfully get to the... the depot. Hmm. No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's wood. And everything else. Who are you? And the high treasure. Okay, bye. <laughs> then our our soldiers are still here. You, yeah. God. And no one's an axe dwarf. Maybe they'll go into the cages. 
all these and look they're gonna they're just gonna leave I think we pissed them off they don't want to trade with us at all well you're you're shooting at them okay one's in a cage I'd rather you kill it though can't exactly drop a zombie bird Oh, and here comes a Sasquatch, just to wander in. Perfect. My god. Zombies suck. Like, this is a skeleton. You have... What do you got? You got an axe? You're an axeman. Do you actually have an axe? No. You're bare fisting a zombie bird. And stabs with... Albert, would you lose a grip of something? Strikes with shield, yeah. Shot is blocked. Hmm. What a mess. Are you... and... What? The merchant is in the cage now! <laughs> I have a, I have a caged merchant. Surely that will have no political repercussions. This thing is ridiculous. No kills, technically. Giant great horned owl skeleton. God. It's just going to keep <laughs> the yak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to send my people in to fight it. But you're you're just you're you're barehanded, aren't you? OK, fine, fine. It's just the three of them. Oh, and there's two things there, too. Yeah, confirm. Is there anything else that's not caged? Jeez. Doesn't look like it. Even then, like the blue one, where is that even supposed to be showing up? We have a domesticated eagle in a cage. Oh, probably from the trader. Cool. Oops. Like, like this stupid skeleton thing doesn't even show up in the in the creatures list. Come on, I saw you have a warhammer. Ugh. There. Still the... The wolfman head is in the cage trap. Okay, so now they can they can just clear. That, and now we're good? You're unconscious. Now the Sasquatch is going to kill the yak. Ugh, and then there's... where did the... Where did this other wolf head go? You didn't, uh... Why is there a raven corpse there? Why anything? You didn't get out, did you? How did... There was a wolf corpse thing in here. I don't know what happened to it. Some giant stoat meat. <laughs> Ugh. Are we good? I mean, we still have a Sasquatch. 
Doesn't seem too interested though. Oh god. Down to 36. And everyone's gonna be grumpy. We're in, uh, we're probably in like tantrum spiral territory. So that's a good sign. And the humans will not like us after this. That's the, well, at least one of the other ones we stole from dwarves. I can't remember if we have actually accidentally stolen from humans yet. This might be the first time we screwed up a human caravan. Oh, this Sasquatch is just chilling. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? Seriously injured. Hi, cat. Do I tell... Let's just kill the Sasquatch. It's just gonna sit there. Not walk into a cage. Stumbling around obliviously. Very cool. Okay. Please just stab it and be done. It's trying to get away. There we go. Cool. Thank you. So we have our one merchant and we have everything else in cages. Plus an agitated giant lynx, of course. That's fine. God. Okay, I am going to clear the alert. Everyone is going to come out here. Needs logs. Yeah, I bet. The stupid lynx is just gonna clog all it up, isn't it? Okay, well, I'm. <laughs> it's just all. Oh, this pile in particular is gonna be nuts. Oh! Ah! Okay. Uh, well, this, of course, that's the human. Are you just gonna die instantly? Maybe you can deal with this. Oh, no. Well, there goes the last survivor of the caravan. Confirm. Uh, oh, man, we're down to... <laughs> Can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing it like this. No, uh, we can't just lose... Can't just lose all our people one by one. Siege Operator? I actually do want a Siege Operator, don't I? Book Binder? We haven't even bothered with a library yet. Oop! Oh, red! Is this still closed? That's still closed, thank goodness. Okay. Here comes our spear dwarf again. Come on. Cool. Now there's a wolf. Literally one giant thing at a time. Really? It, so they can see through this, obviously, of course. Weaver. Mm. Nope. My god. And then into the cage. Or are these all not loaded? Yep. Cool. Hi, wolf. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh no, oh no. Uh, everyone back inside. Everyone back inside. Activate. Ugh, God. I don't even know who that was. Is it injured? It's injured. I'm just gonna walk into a, a cage trap here. I think we need to stop here before this continues. This is ridiculous. Those 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 zombies really uh really did a thing, didn't they? I would be very upset at that human necromancer if he wasn't killed by his own creations. Cabinets are happening, crafts are happening, now that we're <laughs> not trading this season. Um, load ballista, no ammunition. I thought I told you to not... I'm not trying to load. Yeah. You... Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep it paused, but I'm gonna check our waterfall situation real quick. Just to see where we're at. Um, so we're good here, we're good here. I do want to remove some of these, uh... ramps. These. I don't know if we're here. <laughs> we'll see if that works. And there. Yeah. Okay. So we're we'll be dropping water here instead of here. That's how that's working. Then has our plates been made? Our plate has been made. So then we want to link this plate to these two. Right? Which means I want to... Of course, now they're not linked to anything. How's this going to work? I guess let's... I'm going to tell them to link it and we'll see what happens and it'll be wrong and I'll undo it and we'll try it again. There. Link. To here. And link. I didn't have to go back down. To there. So that'll happen. The only level. Oh, and we can make. Um, we want to put grates here. We can do that now. It's a floor grate. Because we got a whole bunch of grates sitting around here. Like to prevent any dwarves taking a bath in our waterfall situation. And then that's the last one. Okay, perfect. And when we're done removing all those ramps, we will put the rick grates back over the stair spots. And then we'll be good. As long as our, our linking situation <laughs> does what I think it will. Um, but we've made we've made some decent progress here. Um, I think we look at all this furniture. Look at all these doors. We, I must have we must have unstuck something. Um, one of these one of these was being silly. Now it's not being silly anymore. Now they're just 
cranking outdoors. So that's perfect. And then we're actually making crafts now. Hopefully they will end up in a stockpile at some point. Um, and we're, yeah, look, oh man, we're making stuff. We're making stuff. We're getting there. Industry is happening despite people dying very consistently. <laughs> um, and then like our food situation is looking pretty good. We've got copper buckets now. Great. Um, we're almost done with our windmill situation. Look, these all have been made. I think I do need to make um, just two more. I, what was I at? I, I was doing math. No, whatever. Um, one or two more to actually do all of the pump stack plus the the millstones. Um, but if we can get if we can chop down the wood and make two more windmills, then I think we will be set. Then we'll be good on power. No whip vine seeds. Does grinding? What do you mean? Do we have a bunch of whip vine plants sitting around? Plants. Yes, I mean, yes, we do. Okay, so we just need to use the whip vines. Got it. Um. Well. On that note. That was some door fortress. Was not expecting the zombies. Was not expecting the zombies. I wonder where that necromancer even came from. Like why? Why do they just pop in every once in a while? Because I know that necromancers can exist on the world map. They can have sites. They have towers. They're called. And they'll seed you, essentially. They'll come in and they'll bring an army of undead stuff, and they'll want to take over your place like goblins do. That wasn't that. That wasn't a siege. That was a dude who got backed into a corner and raised a bunch of corpses that were on the ground. And it went badly for him. I think. I mean, we saw it after the fact, so it's hard to tell what actually happened. Shrug. Uh... Hopefully that doesn't happen again, I guess? Who knows? That, that could just happen at any time, apparently. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll pick up right here on Thursday. And then on Saturday, we'll more Sekiro. I think we're getting... I think we're getting there on Sekiro. I think. Jeez. Um, and then... Well, what date is it? Um, I have... There's a game coming out in a week or two. Yeah, next Thursday. It's gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna play a game the day it comes out. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. Um, so that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe a little bit of change of pace. Um, but for, for right now, this week, Door Fortress, Zombies, and Waterfalls, and all the good stuff. Uh, so I hope you have a good rest of your week. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, click the buttons. You know where they are. Stay kind. <laughs>